Hey friends, I uh, just found out that a uh, friend at Hard Knock News, uh, he's fighting cancer. Seems like there's a whole bunch of us fighting cancer. <laughs> it's Wednesday, February 13th, 2019. I'm laying here uh, trying to catch up a little bit on what's going on the computer. Enjoying the uh, scenery outside. At least I get a good outside look of the view. Kind of taking it easy, guys. Uh, it's been a hard go. I denied all the uh, chemo, denied all the radiation. Told them I couldn't do it physically. It just would not. Uh, my body wouldn't handle it. So I'm going to do it the natural way. Um, I have my bowel movements like I should. Everything seems to be going smooth. I watch what I eat. Um, I'm not going to tell you it's been a breeze. It's been tough. I get out when I can. I go out and do a little shopping and come home. Do a little, little walking. Weather's been kind of nice. and weather's been kind of crummy. Done a little shovel snow and whatnot. But I want you to know the old marine is still hanging in here. I believe in one thing, and one thing only, in the Lord. He's the healer. And I listened very carefully to those people that uh, were representing themselves as health care. With all this chemistry and crazy stuff that they've been using for years. They give you a little list of things of what it's good for, and then they give you about two pages of stuff that it's bad for. And... Uh, to get my testicles fried by radiation, which others have had done, lose your ability to be uh, have sex anymore is not my ideal having fun. Having my uh, radiation done so badly that they remove my anus and put a bag on me is not my ideal of fun. It's not natural, friends. Okay, if they had a natural way of doing things to give you more hope, I could kind of see into it. But I did meet a young fellow there that I think I'm going to go to church with. Spent a couple of times at church with him. That uh, he seems to be, his head's in the right place. And see if I can find some more people that believe the way I believe. You know, that there's uh, truly a healer and not all this craziness. Uh, they, they run you in there and run you out like animals. You're just a number. I mean, they don't even hardly explain to you what they're going to do to you anymore. It's sad. You know, I've been minimizing any kind of medication they give me. Still doing my CBD oil. Doing my Clyde Silver. And doing the other things that I can do that uh, seem to help to keep my appetite up. Uh, I have to watch what I eat. I found out eating bananas is not a good idea when you got uh, problems with your, uh, your, your digestive system. I had to unstop that because what he did, it blocked me up for a little bit and I had to unblock that so that was a, a bad moment. But I want you to know that guys, I really care about, I know your prayers are out there. And I'm staying positive about this. I'm going to be here as long as the Lord will let me. I've told you the story before that I have left this earth and went into heaven and I was shown what heaven is like. And I put that up there with a gold star of what I got to look forward to and everything else falls below. And to me, if this is my final trip, my final destination, then let it be. Because I know what I got to look forward to. The, uh, the sacrifice to, to stay here and to deal with all the insanity. You know, if that's what he wills for me to do, then he'll heal me and I'll get through it. But if he wills to take me, then I'm willing to go. Because he's done shown me. So I just want to let you know, don't be scared of nothing out there, guys. Don't let them scare you. They'll try to scare you to death with cancer. It's a boo-boo. It's a boo-boo on my butt, and it's a boo-boo that ain't no fun. It's hard for me to sit. 
I do a lot of laying. I do a little walking. I try to get my exercise in. I pray all the time. I ask why. Why are these things these way? And it always comes the same answer. The Lord tells me. He says, I've shown you. I've shown you, Vaughn. So you make your choice. It's your free will. So I just told them no. And I'm going to go this way. I go to hospice, I believe it is, and I'm going to get their humane care where they'll come and monitor me a little bit. But I'm going to ride this storm out, guys. I'm going to ride this one out normal. And I'll be here as long as he wants me to be here. And that's how I see it. And I just want to let you know I love all you guys and I care about all, every one of you. I try to keep up with the politics, but politics is a bunch of bunk to me. It, it's earthly things, and I'm trying to keep my mind off the earthly things and the heavenly things is more important. You know, I would rather die for Jesus Christ than to live for the world, and that's how I see things. So if I'm willing to give up what Jesus is offering me to live on this earth, I feel like I failed myself and failed him. If that makes any sense to you or those out there that understand what I'm saying. But I love you, friends. I want to say God bless you. And thank you for all your prayers. And thank you for caring about this old Marine. I'll try to do more updates. I know there's been kind of lax there. But I got real tired. I, I, I slept a lot. I felt like I was really, really tired. So I, I did a lot of sleep and, and, and I felt better by it. You know, when your body commands that you go to sleep, you go to sleep, you go to sleep. If you don't, you wear yourself out. And then you get kind of fatigued, and then you're wore down. And it ain't no fun. So I'm hanging in there. I'm doing the best I can. So I love you, friends. We'll talk to you later. God bless you. And Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. Anyone who doesn't believe that, then I, I feel sorry for him. I really do. I really do. But I, I want to see all of you on the other side. If I get there before you do, then I'll be, wait, I'll be waiting at the gate to welcome you in, guys. I will. I love you. I really care. And I'm trying real hard here. Trying hard, real hard to deal with this. You know, there's no blame to no one. It's just your body. Your body reaches a point, and then it just goes blink. And then something goes wrong. And as of yet, they claim they got no cure. And anything that you've mentioned of anything to help, they deny it. I mean, I started talking about some of the stuff I was doing. And they act like I was an absolute fool. Yet I was telling them the Lord advised me, you know. And, and telling me it was all right to do it. So I don't know, you know. That's why i got to be around people that understand it. These doctors are programmed a certain way, and that's it. Anyway, hug the kids, hug the wife. The old Marine One Vaughn. On Wednesday, 2019. God bless you. Hug the kids, hug the wife. Bye-bye, friends. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for caring. Thanks for listening to me. Bye-bye.